Welcome everybody to the Spec Mix Bricklayer 500 North Carolina Regional. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to get this underway? Junior Mason, if you are ready, can I see trowels in the air, please? Three, two, one, let's lay some bricks! So what are you telling him out there as far as the wall? What's he got to work on? Well, he had a good running bar to start with a header and went stretcher. And what happened was he actually turned his second course, right, to a stack bond. Okay. And his, his uh, tender's like, I said, tell him. So he fixed it, he moved on, he corrected it. So Yeah, they got to work together, don't they? They're working, you got to, you got to communicate. You got to know what your mason needs and you got to know what your tender's going to do, what he's going to bring to you and when he's going to bring it. Keep rolling with it and have fun. They're dropping down some serious brick out here. They're pulling extra brick already. That's how fast these teams are moving. This is the future of masonry right here. This is what it's all about, moving masonry forward. You want to know what it's all about? Watch these kids and the way they lay brick. It's amazing. Time is flying. But then again, so are our teams. I'm looking at the walls and we got a battle going down here. you represent the industry at its best. Five, you got five minutes left. You're three quarters of the way done. Five minutes. You're young, get it done. Put forth the effort, let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Trails down. I need trails down. Let's give them a nice hand. All trails down. Remember, they get a five minute rest period, then they're going to get 10 minutes to strike the walls, clean them up. The tender can't hand the brick to the mason. He can't do anything with the walls. He will point out areas where the mason can adjust the wall, fill in holes, clean things up. And the judges will now take a look at the walls. First, second, and third place is what we're going to be looking for for the junior bricklayers. So they're going to get a chance to chill out right now. We're going to get all our mason and tenders from our Spec Mix Bricklayer 500 North Carolina Regional up on stage. We'll introduce you to those teams, then we'll turn them loose for one hour of bricklaying. Behind me are the teams that are going to be competing. One team is going to be heading to Las Vegas to compete to see who is the world's best bricklayer. Four, three, two, one. Let's lay some brick, everybody. Let's go. Let's keep the mud flowing, boys and girls. I don't have to tell you, time is flying.
So the team you're looking at right now, Grant Helms, he's the Mason. Uh, he actually competed in the junior bricklayer, and he won. Then he went to Las Vegas last year. We had the junior bricklayer, and he won again. He's one of the kids we talk about as far as the future of masonry and moving masonry forward. And this is his shot to get a ticket to Vegas to compete with the big boys. So we'll see how he does today in the regional. Remember that name, Grant Helms. You never know. Okay, so this is the Spec Mix Bricklayer 500 North Carolina Regional, and I want you to take a look at a couple of the teams behind me. Our mud slingers, of course, bringing mud left and right. I love the hard work that these guys do, so the tenders have enough mud on the Gatorback mortarback boards. Stall number one over there, McGee Brothers, Kristen McGee. Now, he's been out to Vegas, but he's trying once again to get out there, that elusive ticket. Stall number three right here, Grant Helms. The walls are really, really close. And the thing of it is, they both look really good. It's not just the amount of brick, it's how good that wall looks. That's what it takes, because they're gonna get deductions the same way we do it in Las Vegas. We'll see, I don't know who's gonna get that ticket, but I'll tell you what, the battle game is on. One, trails down, let's give him a nice hand. Right, that's gonna do it, you now have 20 minutes. 20 minutes to clean and strike the wall. For now, we have the Instructor Iron Grid Challenge. All right, now, what exactly do they have to do? What is the Instructor Iron Grid Challenge? They're gonna shovel five shovels of mortar in the wheelbarrow. They're gonna transport that up to the scaffold, shovel that back on the mortar board. They're gonna put two tongs of brick on the right-hand side of the mortar board, six eight-inch block on the left side of the mortar board, grab the wheelbarrow, come back across the line. We're going with time trials. The top two will make it to the finals today. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it, gentlemen, if you are ready. Here we go, this should be fun. Let's hear it for it, come on! Yeah! Look at them sling that block.
throwing it up there like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. All right, Tom. They're too, they're wore out, but they're getting a break, so we're going to give them a couple more minutes. What they're going to do this time is they're going to actually floor the scaffold out and then do the same thing that they did in loading the scaffold and then wheelbarrow back across the line. Now, here's the good thing about the last two guys. I told you it was going to be a dog fight the first time. They're both a little tired, so it's still going to be a dog fight, just slower. So it's a slow dog fight. It's a slow dog fight now. Who's going to win this one? He's only a couple brick behind. And that looks like it's gonna do it. There's our winner. How we doing? Not good. <laughs> you know you just won. And I don't need smoke. It doesn't hurt when you win, right? No, it's pretty good. <laughs> Heads or tails, pick one or the other. She swept it, it was good. Head, we got a tail, somebody's gonna win, whatever it winds up. You got the TV. Nicely done. Come on up and get a TV. For the clean and strike. The time is up for the clean and strike. We'll get the junior bricklayers up for our award ceremony. Third place. An adjusted brick count of 260 from West Rowan High School, O'Connor Leonard and Tender Dylan Smith. Let's give him a nice hand. In second place, with an adjusted count of 276, from Columbus Career and College Academy, Israel Bergerin and tender Leslie Maldonado, otherwise known as Chili Girl. And in first place, with an adjusted brick count of 293, from Stall 2, East Rowan High School, Mason Ridenauer and tender Braxton Smith. Congratulations. Hey, here's Mason. Nicely done. The future of masonry is so bright, you have to wear shades. Good job. Third place is going to go to stall number two. Allward masonry contractors, Cody and Hazen Allward, with an adjusted brick count of 549. In second place, with an adjusted brick count of 714 from Helms Masonry, Grant Helms and Anderson Pruitt. Stall number three. Here's one of our perfect scores. This is the Craftsman Award. This is the most perfect, most sellable wall that our judges determine. And that's going to go to stall number nine. Helms Masonry, Keith and Scott Helms. A perfect 540 brick. Perfect. With zero deductions, 742 brick. And this is interesting because when we started this morning, this guy didn't have a tender. Somebody stepped in and obviously made an impact. Stall number one from McGee Masonry, Riston McGee and his tender, Ben Boss. Y'all are heading to Las Vegas. Nicely done. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Good luck, Kristen. We will see you along with Ben in Las Vegas. Thank you, everybody.
Safe travels back to wherever you are. Have an amazing day. It's been amazing so far. And thank you for all your help.